Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I thought it would be fun to bring you guys along today as we decorate for Halloween. I usually like to wait until October to do my Halloween decorating but it's a really nice day and for once I actually have nothing to do. So me and Madison are going to decorate for Halloween. I thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along and a little warm up to Vlogtober which is coming up in just a couple of days too. So, so I thought it would be fun to take you guys along with us and we're going to get to decorating. All right, here we go. You ready, Madison? Yeah. Let's do this. Debating if I should let the dogs outside because they're probably going to be in the way. I don't know if you guys saw our new living room set yet. It's been a while since I vlogged in here. And I really thought I wasn't gonna let the dogs on the furniture. <laughs> and here they are. I have to get like those pads or covers for the couches because I don't know. They like to snuggle up on the couch and I feel bad not snuggling with them because it is fun, right? It's nice to snuggle with them. Oh, Chester. If you're new to my channel, this is Chester. This is Madison. And this is the infamous Leo. <laughs> hey, Leo. All right, let's go get the decorations. Okay, so we are headed down to my basement, which is really gross and scary and creepy and old, but that's where we keep our stuff. Unfortunately, it's the only real storage space that we have in this old house. And last year, my plan was to organize all of the holiday stuff, but you can clearly see that didn't go over too well and we have some christmas stuff this is all of our halloween stuff here at the bottom of the stairs and all the way down there you can see i have my jack skellington so i think he's going to be the first thing that i bring up you guys may have seen this before but we live in a really old house it was built in 1895 and this is the condition of our basement. It's pretty horrible. We store a lot of wood down here in the winter because we actually heat our house with a huge um, wood burning like furnace thing. <laughs> so there's always debris and mess down here. And the kids don't really like to come down here often because it is kind of creepy. But I have to get Jack out of here because I don't want him to get messed up. I have to Why find a- Why you have a <laughs> I, because I didn't want him to get dirty. That was like the best thing I could do. And I didn't want to disassemble him because he was really hard to put together. So Someone's no, the dogs can't come down here. The dogs think being down here obviously is just like being outside and they will pee if they come down here. So, all right, let's not let that happen. Here, you take over the camera. No, I like the smell. I'm going to get Jack. All right, Jack. Feet tall. All right, here we go. Told you. Watch out for the cobwebs. Well, Mom, it looks like you're. It looks like you're a witch with its broom. Back up the stairs. I don't think we can fit. Oh my gosh, Mom. All right, let's go. Alexa, play Halloween music. The playlist, Halloween Party Soundtrack, on Amazon Music. Okay, I think this is where I'm going to keep him this year. Let's see if he still works. I just plugged him in. Interesting reaction. But what does it mean? I still need to get Sally. I ah, want Sally. Sally's <laughs> finest trick or treaters. The job I have for you is top secret. It requires craft, cunning. <laughs> the dogs are gonna go crazy. So Madison just reminded me there's something that I forgot to do and Every time we decorate for Halloween, we usually have a special treat, whether if it's Dunkin' Donuts or sometimes I make Halloween cookies. So Emily just took Madison to Dunkin' Donuts to get a dozen donuts to kick off our Halloween decorating. And while she's doing that, I'm gonna tidy up around the house a little bit because just realized our house is like trash right now. So I have to tidy up a little bit so we can actually decorate without a bunch of clutter in the way. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then hopefully by the time I'm done, the donuts will be here. And the dogs are just being oh so helpful. <laughs> 
so far they're not being too much of a pain in the butt. Right? You're so cute, Leo! You're cute too, Chester. I want to see what they do with Jack. Let's see. Ooh, the cat's here. That's Princess. <laughs> Leo, no! Oh no, come on. Oh, what have I gotten myself into? Okay, the donuts are here. They look good. They didn't have any Halloween donuts? Those are all pumpkin, I think. Oh, those are pumpkin? Did they have apple cider or no? No. Hmm. They look good. And then Emily has a, what is it, pumpkin spice latte? Yeah. What'd you get, Madison? Frozen hot chocolate. And I just have a coffee. All right, I guess we'll start with donuts and then we'll decorate, right? <laughs> okay, all the boxes are currently in the kitchen. It's times like this that I wish I lived in a new house with a nice finished basement. <laughs> At one point in time, we thought it would be a brilliant idea to bring the treadmill down here and work out. That clearly has never happened. Okay, am I gonna be able to get out now? <laughs> Oh boy, all of the bins have taken over the entire kitchen. Okay, so the next step in the process is I actually did label each bin. So that's Halloween dining room. DR stands for dining room. And then this one says Halloween living room. So we're going to put the bins in the appropriate rooms and then we can get to decorating. Okay, so... I put everything over by the front door. Well, all of this stuff has to go like on the porch and in the front yard. And then I'm going to figure out how I'm going to set up the Jack Skellington like background. When I bought him on clearance at the end of the season last year at Spirit Halloween, they gave me the entire like setup that they used there as a freebie, which was really nice of them. I don't know if any of you guys get the Chewy.com stuff, but this bag I think is like 50 pounds and I kind of just push it around the room until my husband finally <laughs> puts it in bins for me because I cannot lift it. I don't know, it's just one of those things I have to deal with on a monthly basis. And then here is all of the other stuff that goes in this small room. <laughs> but we managed to get it all out. We're like really big into Halloween decorating, right Madison? Yeah. And I also have some stuff that like goes up here, so it's kind of dispersed accordingly. We just bought this guy at Target. He looks just like Chester, <laughs> like Chester's skeleton, what it would look like, so we felt like we had to get it. And then we're gonna put it in his cage for our, our Halloween party. Thought that was fun. And then, in the living room, I just have these two bins here that are going to decorate um, the front room here and the back room or the, I don't know, back in the day, I think they called it like the front parlor and the back parlor. Yeah, so those bins are in the appropriate room. And then we have our dining room bins. So I have one, two, three bins for the dining room decorations. And then finally, we have our bin that goes um, in the bathroom in our bathroom that's right next to the kitchen and in the kitchen all right so now we can officially start putting stuff out are you too tired now to do it <laughs> it is a process it is a big process but it's fun so let's get the music going get my caffeination going alexa play and here we go Looks like Madison's been busy in here. How are you making out, Madison? Good. How do you like decorating for Halloween? I like it. You do? Is it fun for you? Yeah. Yeah? I remember when I was little, decorating for the holidays was like such an event and such a fun thing to do. I just really, really loved it and looked forward to it. So I think it's great that Madison is still doing it with me. My teenagers don't really want to be a part of it anymore, which makes me really sad because when they were younger, they were so into it and we would do like a whole graveyard on the front lawn and they really got into it, but they're not really interested anymore, which is sad, but 
At least I still have Madison over here, hard at work. I still have my little buddy to help me out with the decorating. This guy was one of my finds on the $5 Goodwill challenge that I participated in last year with Hillary from my so-called home. I thought that was a pretty good find. Here it go, boy. Nice job, Madison. So now we're gonna decorate my favorite room to decorate, which is the entryway. And I love putting all of my spooky statues up here. This chair that I got for my birthday, I'm still waiting for somebody to move it for me outside. <laughs> but for now, it's gonna stay there. Maybe I can sit a skeleton in there or something. What do you think, Madison? <laughs> I don't know what to do with this chair. It's too heavy for me to lift. Okay, so we got that done. That looks so cool. I just love the way this looks every year. If you guys want to see um, a Halloween house tour, I'll leave a link to that above. And let me know in the comments below if you want me to do another one this year because it does vary every year a little bit. So if you're interested, I definitely would do that for you guys. One of the fun things about decorating is when I buy things on clearance the year before, <laughs> I just randomly find them in bins and I had forgotten about them. This is pretty cool. It's a lamp cover. So I'm excited to put that on one of our lamps in the living room. And then I have another table runner and this just has some like really cool kind of like mystic types of a design on it. And I have this garland. I'm sure I have more things cause I'm just getting started here. This is really nice though. Sally, thought that was a nice little like kitchen towel. And I have my Minnie Mouse, I forgot about her. She's so cute. She's just sitting on my little not my little, my very big <laughs> Mickey chair that I have here. So yeah, moving right along. This is a big project. I'm getting there slowly but surely. Now I also have a bunch of like kitchen towels and pot holders and tablecloths and just stuff that I need to clean to put out. And then I hung up my witch sign that I've had like forever. <laughs> I think since before we were even married, I had purchased that a while back. And now I have all of my coffee mugs and candy dishes and things, wine glasses from the dollar store that I need to wash. And these plates, they're really cool and I like to use them for entertaining, but I've never understood why a lot of them or most of them, and you guys should check this, it's not gonna focus. Let's see if I can get to focus. So check the back because it says, no direct food contact, which is crazy because it's a plate. It's like having a cup that says no drink contact. So that drives me crazy because when we have our Halloween party, I like to use these fun plates, but you actually cannot even put food on them. So I really don't know what the point in them is. But anyway, that's where I'm at. I have to wash these dishes and wash all of the towels so I can decorate with them as well. Just hung up my lamp cover. It doesn't like fit perfectly. I wasn't expecting it to be, I'll show you guys around the back, like open in the back like that. I kind of thought it was going to drape around the whole thing, but that's kind of how it goes in case you guys are ever looking to try one of these out. It's a little bit different than I had anticipated, but it still looks pretty cool. You can see like the moon and the sun. It's pretty neat for Halloween. And over here I have this scarecrow that I bought back in high school <laughs> and I still put them out every year. I don't really put batteries in them anymore because they do end up getting gross and moldy. And he just made this really annoying like laughing and cackling sound, <laughs> but I think he's pretty cute. This is one of my favorite little Halloween props that I have ever purchased. I love this big spider and it's like poseable. So you can kind of stretch it and pose it any way that you want. It just connects very nicely to the staircase here. And last year, I think on my Target Halloween haul giveaway, I gave away one of these guys, really, really neat. And I have another giveaway coming up really soon. So if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure that you subscribe because I have a fun Halloween giveaway coming up um, probably within the next week. So stay tuned for that. I was trying to figure out which old album I should put out. A friend of mine who actually used to live in this house a long time ago, I know I talk about him a lot, he gave me this old Victrola and inside are a bunch of old albums, like really old. And the one that I usually have out, where'd it go? The one that I usually have out is this one, Tales of Uncle Remus. I love the ones that have to do with Disney. So this is uh, the Song of the South, Walt Disney's 
original album from way back when and I was looking to change it up for something like kind of more Halloween-y, I guess. And I think that this is the most appropriate that I have. I really love the artwork on this and it's just so old, which makes it really cool. Do any of you guys have these old school plastic trick-or-treat buckets? I've had these for years and they just remind me so much of my childhood and I never knew exactly what to do with them to display them. But I think this looks really cute. I just stacked them all up. I probably have more laying around somewhere, but I think that just looks really cute. The three of them just stacked on top of each other. Let me know what you guys think. And let me know if this is something that you used when you were little, because I remember this was like our go-to trick-or-treat buckets and I really miss them. I think they're really cute. So I thought this worked out really well. If you guys ever have these little clingy things and you're trying to keep them lasting a long time. I just took like one of these big Ziploc bags and the little gel clings that I got last year that are Hocus Pocus themed that I thought were so cute. I really wanted to save them so I can use them for several years if possible. And they stayed in really great condition in this Ziploc bag. So just a little tip to keep it looking nice so that you can use it time and time again. And here it is in my kitchen window. I think it came out really good. I love all of the Hocus Pocus stuff. Okay guys, so that's gonna be it for today. Madison actually went to an Oktoberfest with a friend of hers and I'm going to see Downton Abbey with my mom, which I'm really excited about. It's like one of my favorite shows and I miss it so much. So I'm excited to see the movie. Make sure that you are subscribed so that you can check out all my Vlogtober videos coming up. If you love Halloween, I think you're really gonna enjoy some of my content. I have a spirit Halloween kind of like tour and haul coming up and I'll maybe be doing a Halloween house tour if you guys are interested in seeing how I decorated this year. I know you came along with me today, but I didn't show you every single thing that I did because that just would have been like way too much. I hope that you're all having a really great weekend and I will see you real soon. Take care. Bye. So I know I just said goodbye, but Madison just got back from the Oktoberfest that she went to and I want you guys to see this makeup. Turn your head. How cool is that? And then she has this like <laughs> little hat. It's like a clip. That's cute. I love it. It looks great. Okay, that's officially it. We'll see you guys real soon. Bye.